Hey boys, welcome back to more fan hub, fan hub things, whatever we want to call it now. And we're up to the Raiders. We've done the Broncos, we've done the Bulldogs, and I've noticed something. I really drag on with these videos, so <laughs> I'm sorry if people don't like that. There's not much I can do. I like talking, honestly. You know, I can really dwell on things, so that's just what's going to happen. So let's get let's get straight into it. No dilly dallying here. Fullback, Jack Whiten. Jack Whiten, you know, he's a... I think he's a really good player. You know, I think 81's pretty fair because... Again, he's a he's a fairly new player. But I think he's shown enough to warrant that 81 ranking. Um, but yeah, I think he'll only improve. He's been very good for the Raiders this year. So let's move on. Sisawaka. And 81, I think, you know, it's hard to tell with wingers, but I think that's probably about right. Maybe a bit low, because I know for the, St you know, I don't get to see many Raiders games, but for the Storm, he was, he was very good, you know. He finished off some really excellent tries, and he was just solid, you know. He was one of those big wingers who made a lot of ground out of dummy half, out of their end. And so yeah, I'd say he's 81. You know, he's not a game changer, but he's solid, and he can do some. He can. He's done some pretty freakish things. So 81, I'd agree with. Jared Croker, 83. Now, this is probably another player that I never thought was that good to start with, but but I probably changed my mind over the last year or two because the odd game I've seen of Raiders, Croker's. Croker always seems to do something something good, you know? His defense is usually pretty good, and he just, he, I don't know, he seems to have a bit more speed. He has some pretty, he's got a bit of agility, a bit more than you would think, and he seems to make some, make a few breaks, you know? So 83, I'd probably, I'd probably move that up a bit. I mean, he's a goal kicker as well. I would say he's mid to high 80s. You know, he's definitely their strike outside back, in my opinion. But yeah, then we move on to Jared Kennedy. Okay, so I really have no idea about Jared Kennedy. So we're just going to move on and say 74 is a pretty good rating. <laughs> then we got Edric Lee. So this is another one of those guys that the commentators love, you know, tall black winger. <laughs> they love tall black wingers, but so do I because they're, he's quick. He's strong. He gets some. He scored some pretty amazing tries. I think 81 is pretty fair because, you know, you hear the odd thing where Edric Lee is, has done this amazing game, but other than that, you don't hear much about him. So I think, I think he's a bit inconsistent, but he can also do some freakish things. So 81 is probably pretty, pretty right for him. Five eight. Blake Austin. Now, Blake Austin, probably another one like Jared Croker, I never thought was that good a player, but this year, this year especially, he's been arguably their best player. And, you know, he's he's been really good for the Raiders at 5'8". So, 84, probably about right. Um... Yeah, I'd say it's about right. Maybe a bit high because, you know, again, I don't think the consistency's there. He he can do the odd good game and he, he can turn the game for the Raiders, but yeah, maybe a bit bit lower and I'd be happy than young Mitchell Cornish, a ranking of 70. I think that's pretty, pretty fair. Honestly, a lot of these Raiders I haven't seen that much of, especially like Mitchell Cornish. Um... You know he's a, he's a very new player. He's still a he's still a rookie, I think. So 70 is probably about right for him. Shannon Boyd, a prop, 73. Sounds about right to me. <laughs> Let's move on. Josh Hodgson. So again, I haven't seen much of him, but I've heard a lot about him. You know, people people have really been talking up this this player. I'm pretty sure he came from England. And 
you know, the commentators and people that watch a lot of these games, you know, they say he's he's an excellent dummy half. He's tough, he's aggressive. That's what you want from your hookers, so... 84 is probably about right. Probably about right. Then we got David Shillington. You know, I'd probably... It's funny, like, last year or a couple of years ago, I'd probably say this is a bit low for Shillington, but this year... I don't know, I'd probably say it's a bit high. Like, he's been... I think he's been injured, honestly. I think he's been out injured for a while now. Um... But I still feel like Shillington's been pretty poor, like, the end of last year and the couple of games he had this year, I think. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with Shillington. He used to be one of the, the be better props in the game, but he's just sort of, I don't know, lost lost his way a bit. So maybe drop Shillington down a bit. Then we have Frank Paul Nuasala. I think this is a bit low, honestly. Like, just going off, like, what he used to do for the Roosters, he was just, as they call him, he was a wrecking ball. Um, he was a great hole runner. He was aggressive. A good defender. You know, you saw the you saw the odd game for the Roosters, and Frank Paul would just, he would just be on fire for the Roosters. Like, he would be easily the best forward. So, I feel like 78's a bit low. I don't know if he's... I don't know if he's dropped form since going to the Raiders, but going off from what he did with the Roosters, I feel like it's a bit low. I think mid, low to mid 80s is probably about right. Then we go on to Asia Soliola. Now this follows a bit, a bit of an interesting one. So, pretty sure he used to play for Roosters a few years ago. Um, he was. Yeah, he. I think so. Wait, I think I'm thinking of Sadamata Saar, but I think Soliola is the same, that he used to play for Roosters, and then he went to one of the Super League teams. Uh, but I do remember Soliola, actually, uh, Soliola was the one who got knocked <laughs> knocked the fuck out by Ruben Wiki, wasn't he? I'm sure that was Soliola, but yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> Ruben Wiki just cleaned him up, <laughs> that was crazy. That was that was scary stuff that that run, but you know Soliola was a solid player. I don't think he was outstanding, so I think 75 is pretty fair. And if he is who I like, if he did go to Super League, like I think he did, he must have. I don't know where he's been the last few years. He must have gone to Super League. So usually when players come back from Super League, they they lose a bit of fitness, they lose a bit of ability. I'm not saying Super League is terrible, but the the standards is a bit lower. Then we move into uh, Sean Fensom, 80. I think that's about fair, you know. He's one of those locks that just gets in and tackles. He's he's a Dallas Johnson type player. I think Johnson was a bit better, but Sean Fensom, you know. He's a tackling machine, but he doesn't offer too much in attack, so 80 is probably fair. And now the bench. <laughs> the bench, ah. How am I going to rate this? So Jack O'Hearn. Let's say 66 is good. I don't know. Haven't really seen much of him. Haven't really heard much of him. So obviously he's not that amazing. Glenn Buttress. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Glenn Buttress was like really good for them. But now they got Josh Hodson. And I don't know if Glenn Buttress is getting much game time. But I know Buttress was like one of their better players for a few years. So probably 85 is a bit high still though. I mean, if he's not starting for the Raiders, I feel like 85 is a bit high. And then we got Josh McCrone, you know, again. I just feel like McCrone had a lot of potential. You know, people talked him up the first couple of years, like the first year they saw him, but he's never really done anything to impress me. Um, Yeah, he's just, he hasn't been that amazing. So 86 is way too high, in my opinion, way too high. And then Paul Vaughan, you know, I think, I definitely remember that run he did. I don't know who it was against, but he got this really good solo try. Um, but 77, probably a bit high. You know, if he's starting on the bench for the Raiders, like I said. I don't think he's as good as Frank Paul. So I think 77's a bit high. 
But yeah, that's the Raiders. Let's look at their jerseys. That's the home jersey. Alternate. And the Heritage. I've always liked the... I like the Raiders jerseys. But yeah, that's, that's the Raiders done and dusted. And I'll see you boys in the next one.